I am a member of the Hickory Apache Nation. I grew up here pretty much all my life. Three years ago, as new JOM director, I was faced with a lot of questions what I was gonna do as a new director. So I thought, how can we service K through 12 in a very um, strategic way to supplement the schools? And the first thing I thought is, well, let's, let's do high school first. And we have a video department. Let's do a film fest. I had produced a feature film called Legends from the Sky. I was taking it around to different reservations and theaters across the country, and I really wanted to take it to the Hickory Apache Res. And so I have a friend that lives in Dulce, and I approached him and asked him, what, how can I get the film out here, bring it and share with the community? And he said I should talk with a lady named Lynn Roanhorse. She was somebody that knew how to communicate with others what her vision was, um, be able to have relationships with the youth to get them excited and involved in the program, and then just somebody that could coordinate and bring in different people to make a great event happen. I met him maybe a month into my uh, directorship, and one of the council members had asked him to get a hold of me when, after he had spoken to him. He said, you should get a hold of Lynn. And so we connected by phone, and then we met in person, and. I thought, man, this guy works with natives, he'd be perfect for a film fest, and so I approached him about doing a film fest, and, and he said, sure. I missed out the first day because it snowed crazy, and it was just unbelievable. The second time it snows in six months, and it's on the first day of our film fest. It was kind of a bad day to do anything. People were getting stuck off the side of the road, and, and so we decided just to go over what we're gonna do for the week. I think we all know what needs to happen. Okay, if it is three hours of training, it's not just me. It's like, oh, here's a new person. Oh, wow, they're fun. I like that. They pitched their ideas right after lunch, having talked about it. All these kids are in Indian time. And we all know what Indian time is by Friday. Well, intro intros, and then intro um, paperwork, Lynn, and how long? Half an hour? And so we start everything on the next day, which was Wednesday. As soon as everybody got here, by 8.30, all our kids showed up. They came in the theater. We all just got on it. The ultimate goal is to have the youth make a film from, from the writing stage to the, the editing and then share it with the community. So our day one was broken down into writing, coming up with a story, writing it in a page or two, and doing all the pre-production, figuring out who the actors were gonna be, who was gonna operate the camera, who was going to be the director, all of those things happen on day one. It's important that you guys try to be here on time and participate and um, be happy, have fun, be creative, talk to one another. This is your time to shine. My name is Travis Hamilton, I'm based out of Arizona. This is our third, third annual Right, of doing, participating in this film festival. So it's fun seeing some, some familiar faces and some veterans. I know there's going to be a lot of work, but I love production because the work can be fun. Look at the resources that you have that have just that have gathered together here in front of you and around you. Community members, outsiders, people from as far away as Louisiana, Arizona, LA, LA coming together to spend this time with all of you. This is the first time we've had so many resources. So there's something special happening. Seeing their self-esteem grow, their ability like we can we can do this. We can do hard things. To me, that's that's what motivates me from day 1. When you're trying to get those kids out of their seats. This is all for you. Um, on a different note, JOM is I can't guarantee this program's going to be here next year. They always say, I don't want to be here, but I had to come. And I'm like, it's okay, you know? Just come on, let's, let's get involved. You know, come sit with me, and they'll sit with me, and they're quiet. And I try to engage them 
or I will try to pair them up with one of the leaders from the groups. So we had two groups this year, and so I would uh, yes. pick the ones that kind of were loners and say, okay, I want you to go stand up here with these guys and, you know, just do what they're doing. Up on stage, guys. Come on, hurry up. 11th graders and 12th graders. Get up on stage. I need uh, two girls to come on this side. Not all the girls on one side. You gotta have some. Hi, I'm Ken Topolsky. I am here from Los Angeles. I've come in to help the student filmmakers uh, see what they're on the film that they write and see all their gifts and talent is, uh, with a point of view that, that I'm going to learn from. After a brief introduction to equipment, into the structure of a story, into what goes into making a film, we broke up into two groups and, and wrote a, a short film. Okay, what's your names? All right. My name is Ken. I'm Deanna. Deanna. So this is a very specific tool for the film industry. It's called a C-stand, a century stand. Rumor has it that there's a hundred plus, over a hundred ways to use this stand. So first off, let's take it, I want you to pick it up and just feel the weight. Pick it up and then pass it around. Ooh, one-handed. <laughs> it's tough. Good job. And this is important and we don't do enough of this. We haven't done enough of this. In, in our business, and just know, looking at the headlines, you'll know what I'm talking about. We don't show enough respect in the workplace. Hollywood oftentimes was accused of being a boys club, which it was. Any, what, are, what are your thoughts right now? What is it, what are you guys thinking, questions you have about anything we've talked about? I'm having fun. <laughs> You're having fun. fun? Oh, she's having fun. fun. Okay, Woo! we'll try harder. In the beginning, they're standing there just like lost and bored. And, and then by the end of our little session, they were jumping around and laughing and carrying on. And it was just a, like a 360. Look in your packet that we handed out. You have sheets in there that will help you write. We are visual storytellers. And that's what writing and movies are about telling a story with pictures and with words and putting them together. I'm, I'm really impressed with, with the young filmmakers here and equally impressed with the support system they have. Um, there was a nice group of, of professional filmmakers assembled to advise them. And when you take away the words and you look at the picture, you know exactly what it's about. And if you were to shut off the picture and only hear the words, you know exactly what it looks like. Let's jump right in, picking up where Ken left off with the script. You have a script. It's beautiful. It tells your story. So now I'm, I'm going to talk about the breakdown. A lot of times you get a breakdown. You'll have a producer. We'll take a script and we'll do a breakdown. They're going to go through and see what are the resources, what are all the elements that we need to make this film. I'm John Paul Howard. I'm an actor. Um, been in a few things, Hell or High Water, Midnight, Texas. Um, and I heard about this through my father. He's a teacher here at the school. And he just felt that um, they'd love to, to hear from an actor to come in and, and speak to him. And so I asked if that would be OK if I came in. I'm uh, from North Alabama. That's where I started acting. I was seven years old, started in theater. And that's when I started um, really pushing myself, moving. Uh, Moved out to California a couple times, lived out there for a few months here and there, and just um, kind of been devoting my life to acting. Just you should start throwing out some ideas, and then maybe the best thing to do is get it down to five or six ideas, and then give each one an A, B, or a C, and then the one that comes out with the most A's is the one you should probably make. The director is like, like a translator. You get a script that has all these words, and what the director does is he translates it from words to pictures and performances and music and everything so that the audience can feel And all of the people, the young people were in, innately curious. They all had a, an original point of view and they all saw the world in pictures. And that was, you know, refreshing. Um, like the school shooting, I guess. A school shooting? It would be a piece about a school shooting and what could have happened in a day. Yeah. And a lot of the film that my group 
worked on, the group I was a part of, was experiential, using um, that, all of those, those events in the life, or all those memories, or all those stories that they've heard, putting them together into a very meaningful three-minute film. There's a great deal of frustration in society, and, and as always, frustration sort of rains down on those people who are the most vulnerable, which is often our young people, our students. I think today went well. There was lots of fun going on, lots of creativity. Um, you could see some of the students from the beginning to the end, they had changed from not having so much fun, a little bored, to kind of getting into it, handling the equipment, got more and more excited about it. Um, the major challenge of the day was just trying to get so much stuff to happen in order to start filming, creating a story of finding actors, of locations, of coming up, you know, that script was the big, big thing. And once they got that script, then it's like, okay, well, who's going to play these parts? Where are the locations going to be? Who's, who's doing, you know, who's operating the camera? How do we operate the camera? How do you turn the camera on? How do you, you know, sound? Who's doing audio? So there was the training aspect of well, of like, okay, here's the story, and now you've got to know how to use the tools to gather the story. Um, and so those are, all of that's kind of our big, big obstacles that the students needed to get through today. And, and they did, great mentors. Um, this is the third year we've done this, and so we kind of know what we're up against and how, you know, kind of the flow of keep pushing the students along without them knowing it. So they're having fun, and at the same time we're working hard to, to get things moving forward. It was pretty fun to see a lot of these kids um, enjoy themselves and they're very natural, which is fantastic as well, because a lot of the times you, you don't really see, it, it's, it's difficult to find children who are natural on camera, and a lot of these kids are, they just had a good time, and that was fantastic to see. I'm glad that I learned a lot from just one day of experience. I'm glad that I get to be a part of this. I've learned how to work a camera, and lighting, some acting tips. This is the first time I've done any of this and it's a pretty fun experience. I got cast as the bus driver in one and they will be using my house in the other one. I'm supposed to crash the bus and I don't know if, uh, <laughs> if that will be me actually crashing <laughs> or the script, so we'll, we'll, we'll find out. As kids got their hands on stuff like cameras and equipment and lighting and microphones, and they started working with all of this film industry stuff, um, wow, the walls came down. I watched one particular girl who was sitting kind of with her arms folded, oh, I'm kind of bored. Um, after the exercises and opportunities to get hands-on learning, she was a totally different young person. She was working the camera, she was telling the other students where to stand and what to do. She was totally into it, and it was absolutely magic to watch them actually come out of their shell. What it's like to be in a film here in the community you know, is like, it's crazy because there's those kids that like, oh, I know him, I, I look up to him, that's cool that he's in the film where he does that, I want to try it. And I just think it's pretty, it's really cool to encourage the younger kids or the kids that, are in, that don't really do much to come out and try it. Day two is production day. So it's, okay, we have our script. Now we're gonna go out and make this happen. We're gonna film the actors, we're gonna film at the locations, we're gonna go and capture all the images and sounds that we wanna capture for this story. Flashback number one. John pushes Vic into the lockers. This is a stunt. We need a pad of some sort to put behind Vic's back. I think it's actually really fun. This is my first year participating. So it's pretty cool to see everybody kind of come together. Like, I think it's really neat how they're coming in and supporting the kids also, because it was kind of a process to get this whole thing like situated and find everybody to come down and people that were willing to travel to Dulce. So it was pretty cool to have everybody just come in and help. We are 15. The duffel bag and putting things into the duffel bag, which included separate things like magazines. They needed a, a vest, too. 
And then a firearm, if we're allowed to do that or if we do it with proper safety. Okay. So we probably should have a police officer here if we're going to have a real gun. Okay. If we're shooting scenes with guns, I want, I'd like a safety officer in the street. When you see yourself up there and everything's put together, you're like, I was part of that. Sleeping and you go this and you go this and you go this you be checking yourself and part of that and everybody's like, oh, how was it? And you just get to tell them an experience that they had to learn because it's really fun. I really like being in it. It's pretty fun. Uh, action! <laughs> action! <laughs> the past two years that you guys came, or that the school had did this, and when I seen the movies that were produced and made, um, it just caught my eye, you know, like, I, like, I, wanted to, I wanted to try something like that, you know, be in the film, you know, see myself, you know, like, make something that, uh, that people will enjoy and, you know, just be in the moment when, you know, when you have it. And how does he shoot up the school? I'm curious because I wasn't here earlier. What's a gun? One, like one gun. Does he have a lot of guns? No, yeah, but he has a lot of guns. Yeah, he has a gun and he has a whole bunch of mags. He has a bush tester with extended mags. We well, know exactly what kind of props we need. Perfect. Yes. And so if we're going to need the school, right? And we're going to need his house. Like the process is like kind of hard just to figure out like what you want to what you really want to film or like see like a vision so it's basically just trying to put your story together that you think that everybody would like so we're here at the hickory game and fish department and we have all the officers <laughs> in a scene where a bus full of youth are been lost somewhere possibly in a vehicle accident and they're gonna respond. Just like get into it, like it's actual call so we can like make it look realistic as possible so everybody's like, oh, this is a good movie and like get into it and just have everybody on the edge of their seat to see what happens in the next scenes and throughout the whole movie. See how you guys leave instead of just one so we can get everybody. Just turn it off, turn it off. Okay. Did you? It was scary, but like it was like the actual real thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go over the walk pad. Like just like through that little strip and then as you guys are leaving, we'll just get you guys going by. So um, do it again? Yeah. Push. Okay. So I'll just be waiting for your hand. Okay. Alright, thank you. Amazing, right? What resources are here in the community. Uh, great production value, I'd say. It's fun watching the youth's face as they see what they were envisioning yesterday. Now they're seeing it happen. And one, and one of the girls I loved, she said that she was a little scared because it was like it was like the real thing, seeing all that stuff. But it's it's fun to see them starting to catch the film, you know, that film bug and seeing what they're creating in their mind. And now it's coming. It's here, and they're capturing it with the camera. It was just awesome the the um, scene that they shot for like maybe an hour and the kids were so proud and they were beaming and they were so happy that they got this department involved and it's gonna make their movie awesome. And so I think having a good rapport with everybody in the tribe or try to, I think that the support is there. You just have to ask, be polite about it, engage them into what you're doing and and they're very supportive and, and they're willing to help the youth in any way possible or with what they're allowed to do. As Tristan walks backwards, I need you to put your hand on him because he's going to be walking backwards kind of quick and make sure that he doesn't trip or anything or if you see him start to... Through use of the third person, many of the young filmmakers here saw 
possibilities and probabilities that were just unacceptable to them. And they were able to use this writing process to articulate reasons why bad things happen. And it enabled them to come up, hopefully, with a, a set of tools that recognize what root causes are of some modern day stressors to, to students. Camera, Camera rolling. Rolling. Camera speed. Action. Okay, cut for me. It's actually my first year, but our boss actually brought us up here. And it's actually interesting. I'm more interested in like cameras, you know, like, more like a technician, I guess you could say, rather than acting. Warm me up. Okay. Red is red. Okay, it's not. Okay, what I like most is writing the scripts, helping put in like ideas. Director. Director. Let's, let's hear the lines. Ready? You want to run lines for your yeah. director? Just give her a go ahead and start. <laughs> I think I've already benefited, and I've seen what I hope would have happened happen, and that that people are using pictures to express how they feel. They're using written word to express how they feel. And anyone could express any dream by writing it down. And once you write it down, you can make it happen. Come on, know, come we on. got three more scenes. We only got three hours, two hours, and we're done. Come on, guys. I think one of the major challenges is the writing process is when when the youth are trying to figure out what roles they're going to take and who's going to do what. Like, you'll have the quieter ones that are starting to come out of their shell and they'll say, I want to be AD or I want to be director or I want to be cameraman or whatever. And they don't really get the position they want. Um, and they usually back off and then they go back into that shell again. I think when I see them being um, proud of what they accomplished, you know, by uh, finish making and finishing two films, and they're proud of it, it just, it just, I mean, there's no words. Sorry. important to me with the kids that um, to have a great time and in the end it's a life-changing experience the ultimate goal is on Friday we're showing the youth are showing their films to the community having the world premieres of the films that they've made in three three days Day three, we take all of those materials we've gathered, and we begin to put them into the edit. We start to edit it, the post-production process. So music, we're adding dialogue if we need to, going out and getting more voiceover work if we need to, and then at the end of that editing session, we have a finished film. End credits, opening title, and then later that night is where we're showing it to the community, to, to parents and siblings and friends and anybody in the community that wanted to come and watch it. To go and attend that final you know, the editing is always a challenge. There's lots of stuff you're trying to do quickly. Editing is a longer process, very technical. And so we had some of the mentors, myself being one, um, Charlie Gomez being another that were, were there editing. Film, film starts with kind of one person or a few writers that are working together to come up with this story. And then it kind of expands into lots and lots of people working. And then it kind of goes back down to a person or two or three in the post-production editing process. And so uh, we're moving so fast to make this short film. When we get to the edit stage, it's really designed for two or three people. But we were trying to keep, you know, 10 people or so there entertained or invested in what they were doing. And you could see somewhere it wasn't kind of losing interest. One, two, three. <laughs> At the very end, we were able to get a few of the youth who wanted to stay and kind of share some of their feelings about the, pro the whole film process, have them pick some of their favorite parts. And to sit there, we had probably six or seven youth, 
And sometimes what I would assume certain youth would say sometimes wasn't at all what they would say. We had some that, that really loved the editing process. I think my favorite part was the editing part. My favorite part was editing and filming because editing was pretty cool. Like seeing how you put everything together, like different things. And filming was awesome because you see how everybody does it and it's like, like a real movie you're putting together or something. Well, my favorite part of this whole film festival was probably coming up with the ideas of what movie we wanted to do, you know, what kind of theme, what kind of places where we want to film it, you know, setting up the uh, props and, you know, just putting everything together. Overall, it's been fun. It's, it's my first time doing this, so it's been, it's been pretty awesome. In a way. My favorite part was editing because I got to experience something that I never experienced before. No. It shows me what um, what I can accomplish than not believing in myself. So I think my favorite part about doing this was filming the movie because they had me as the director of photography, and this was my first time doing it, so I'm experienced now. <laughs> yeah. My favorite thing was learning how to work the camera. Uh, Lynn is pretty cool, and it, I'm pretty sure we're all thankful that sh she's the one that put this on, or like thankful she was here to do it for us. And yeah, that's about it. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be here. Right now, I'm worried about the future of this Film Fest continuing. A lot of our funds that we use for all the different activities, including the Film Fest, is pretty much done with the funds from JOM. The JOM funds is not available next year. I would like to write for grants or sponsorships to continue this. You think about what they all do, the editing, the writing, the creativity, the artwork, the socializing. Um, Bringing, about, bringing up important topics about bullying and communicate with the public, like, hey, listen to us. You know, we're trying to, we're reaching out to you guys with these films, you know, listen to us. And so I would hate to see this just fizzle out. Our staff has been so wonderful and the video department and the Department of Education is like a cohesive group that all work together. There's nothing really here to do. And so when we put their minds to work and their bodies and we l laugh while doing it, I think it's a good thing. And um, it turns those youth around. The ones that are real quiet, pretty soon they're outgoing and you know, it's making a difference in their lives. As long as I'm director for the federal programs and involved with Department of Education, I will do my best to keep it going. It's a lot of work, but I love it. I really love it. It's hard to get everything all situated within our program. Like, because of a lot of kids here, it's a small community, so they don't get a lot of exposure to everything. And like, I graduated in 2016, and I think personally, um, this is not something I would have been into but because I'm a little, like I'm older and I like it's a good opportunity to come like it's really good for the kids kind of just dips their toe into the film business and if they like it they like it and it can go from there academically I think that they're utilizing all their skills they've learned from kindergarten to high school middle school which is computer technology writing reading, math, communication skills, social skills, activity, art, research. They use statistics. They are researching online, bringing the statistics on film. Um, they're learning. They're learning as they do this about what's happening in real life and how it's impacting community, the society whether it's environmental, domestic, everything. And another way we're impacting their lives is they're kind of learning about themselves, you know, and even the most quietest person will voice their input of what they think, 
without even thinking they're just doing it you know where before they would just stay quiet and sit in the back and you know not really involve themselves but when everybody's thinking or things are happening it's so fast you know when we're filming when we're moving when we're traveling we're moving from set to set carrying equipment um, thinking about lines, who's going to do this, who's going to do that. They don't have time to just stand there and be quiet and just watch everybody. They actually have to jump in and help and carry bags. And, and so it makes them feel like they're a part of something, something very powerful because they know it's going to have impact on the community and they're going to be a part of it. And so they're excited about it. And that's probably the most important thing in this whole thing is when you can make a difference in a child's life to where they feel part of something big and, and they're included and they're not alone and their voice is being heard. I think that's very uh, powerful. Our seniors that are graduating this year, almost every one of them is going to college. And that's kind of rare to hear them saying, yeah, I'm going to college. I'm going, I don't know if I should go into film. I really like film. But I don't know, I like writing. I like reading, you know. One youth pulled me aside and said, oh, man, I wish I could be here next year because I know it's going to be bigger and better. It's just getting better every year. And thank you for letting me be a part of this all three years. And I was like, thank you. And he gave me a hug and it really got to me. But that's what it's about. The world premiere is the culminating event that everything we're doing for those first three days we're working towards. And so you have youth that have never touched a video camera, or maybe they've used their phone, they're, they're at a level where they're, they're brand new to the process. They're coming in, they're writing a story in pre-production, coming up with their own story. We're not there giving them, this is a story you have to do. They come up with their own. They're finding the actors. Who do they want to be in, the cam in front of the camera? They're, learning how to do the sound, how to operate the camera on that production, and then they're going into the editing process and learning that. And all of that for, so that world premiere, that one hour world premiere, they're gonna show their film to the, to the world. The world's invited. Signing certificates for all the kids that graduated from the film program. Family members, siblings are coming out to that premiere. You see the excitement on the youth's face. This is something they've accomplished. Day one, you know, how many are doubting, like this is impossible, I don't even know how to do this or this or this, I've never done this before. This is scary, there's lots of equipment that I, I don't know anything about, but to, then to see them grasp it, they start to learn the language, what the equipment's called, they start to use those terms on set, they're in the edit, starting to tell the editor where to cut and what to what picture to put next and where to put the sound and they're starting to own that medium and then yeah to see them walk down the red carpet to see them stop and buy that big banner and get photos with their family photos with the mentors photos with their their friends that they were involved in the process and then to go and sit in the audience I'd like to welcome you guys to the third annual Spring Break Film Fest um, my name is Vince Marino and I'll be your MC for tonight um, I did this for the past like three years, so this is my third time doing this film fest, and it's really... The lights go out, the films come on, round of applause, cheering, you hear some of the youth will laugh or they'll say something funny and people will laugh, and then, and then after those films are played where Lynn goes up and some of the mentors go up, and we have the youth come up, all those filmmakers, they come up and they line that stage. And then to see them, see the pride in their eyes, the self-esteem has grown some, they're a little more empowered as they're getting those certificates. My advice to anybody working with youth is that you really have to love what you're doing. You really do. Because it's hard work, it's not easy. 
whatever you have available, use them. You can have an impact by using resources that are there. It may not be the best, but you still can have an impact. You just, it's really the people behind the scenes, the people that are there for support for the youth. It's possible to do anything anywhere. You just gotta have the dedication to see it through. Native communities that wanna do this, you can do it. If I can do it here, you can do it there. Maybe we might not have all the same resources, but we all have the same values, which is our children. Our children is our future. And in order to make sure that we are still here another 500 years plus, we have to invest in them. And this is a good way to do it. Just take my hand because I won't let go Cause I